European folklores are full of different kinds of majestic beings. Beings that submerge our consciousness deep in the world of fantasy and imagination. These beautiful and mystical beings are said to be living here along with humans, but they like to stay away from us. One such mysterious creature is gnomes, small-sized humanoid beings who exist in remote parts of the world. They are considered to be nature spirits who are endowed with magical supernatural powers. In today's episode, we will delve deep into the mystery of gnomes and also learn about some real cases of encounters with gnomes. So watch the episode till the end. In European folklore, gnomes are described as dwarfish subterranean goblins because of the fact that they live underground most of the time. Many people in history claimed that Earth is hollow from inside, and this underground kingdom is full of different kinds of magical beings. Every culture has a reference to this underground world. It is said that the Greek goddess of love and passion, Aphrodite lives in the underground world as well. Many people in history claim to visit the inner Earth kingdom. Coming back to the story, gnomes are said to guard hidden treasures and precious stones, some of which have magical capabilities. Legend has it, Gob was the king of gnome race, who ruled the entire race with the help of a magical sword. They are usually deformed and old, having big white beard. They are always playful, who like children. A renowned alchemist of 16th century, Paracelsus knew them very well. He described them and other elemental spirits in details, because he had encounters with these magical beings. According to him, gnomes are elemental spirits who are earth dwellers. They live under the ground and are very reluctant to humans. Paracelsus also said they had the special ability to move through walls or hard surface, just as we move through air. They are generally good in nature who help the plants grow and hate the people who destroys nature. Folk tales from different parts of the world also talks about incidents when gnomes showed their anger. One such incident happened in the year 1618. There was a beautiful Swiss village named Plurs, which is in Italy today. It was a peaceful place situated in the shadow of Mount Conto. This mountain was the place occupied by a race of gnomes. It is said that the villagers were enjoying their life in the village, with all sorts of pleasure and comforts. They were mining talcum from the mountain recklessly, without using bowls in the mines, and not relocating any material in older mines, to support the weight of mountain. This act of greed offended gnomes badly. On 25th August 1618, they used their magical ability and brought a huge landslide. In a matter of minutes, the whole village was buried killing more than 2,000 people. Another gnome encounter happened with Samantha in the year 1990 in Switzerland. Samantha was living with her grandmother near Zurich in Switzerland. The area was mostly rural, with beautiful natural landscape and a fresh water river. Her grandmother's home was well maintained and had a garden in the backyard. Samantha was there to spend her holidays. She used to sit in the garden area at noon when her grandmother took nap. She liked reading books in the area. One fine day she was sitting in the garden area reading book and this happened. I heard a strange sound. It was rhythmic. I looked around and found nobody there. I ignored it and started reading again. This time I heard a whistle. This high-pitched whistle came from behind. I looked behind and was shocked to see a little man standing in the ground with big white beard. He was at most one feet tall. It looked exactly like the helpers of Santa Claus, wearing the same outfit with pointed hat. He was not afraid of me. On the contrary, he was smiling. As I tried to approach him, he jumped behind the tree and disappeared from my sight. As I searched the area, I found a hole behind the tree. When I told this incident to my grandmother, she said she saw them many times before. They are nature's spirit and protect her trees and flowers. Samantha tried many times but never had the luck again. 
One more famous incident happened in England, which is the most believable because of multiple eyewitnesses. Wollaton Hall exists in the city of Nottingham in England. This is not a normal place. Wollaton Hall was built in the year 1580. It was Elizabethan country house which looks like a royal building from medieval times. 500 acres of area surrounding the hall is a huge garden, referred to as Wollaton Park. This is such a beautiful place which is used for festivals and also for movie shoots. Almost all the garden is open for public visits, but there is a patch of area which is fenced having thick bushes. This is the place which is said to be occupied by gnomes. Year 1979, a group of seven children went for an evening stroll in the garden of Wollaton. As they walked near the fenced area, they saw small tiny men hitting from them in the bushes. Children described them as short men, about the size of their waist. They had long white beard, wearing colorful clothes and bobble hats. One of the gnome made a strange gesture and moved back in bushes. Children were intrigued so they climbed over the fence to look for them. The little men disappeared into bushes, and then they came out in strange tiny cars. These cars looked like Naughty's car, but in place of steering wheels, they had some kind of handle. Two gnomes sat on each car, and the cars moved without making any noise. They chased the children out of the swamp area. Children ran in panic and went out of the main gate, but the gnomes stopped few meters away from the street lights. After reaching home, some of the children told the incident to their parents. They dismissed the story as absolute nonsense. Next morning in school, their story spread among the other students who were overjoyed. Headmaster decided to talk to three of the children, and after the conversation he realized that they were not lying. He told the children to draw what they saw, and the results were intriguing. The children revealed that they were scared of the gnomes, but they were very joyful and friendly. All the children said there were 30 cars, and two gnomes sat in each car. They said the cars could jump above the fallen trees. Newspapers of that time covered the incident and many journalists took their interview. The children must be around 50 years old now. Many curious researchers tried to reach them, but till date, nothing came out. This is the end of this episode. Like the video and share it with your friends. Tell us in the comments section what you think about the Wolaton Park incident. Also subscribe to the channel if you wish, as we bring mystical episodes on regular basis. I will see you soon with another mystical episode. Take care.